Hey, Flame here, and welcome back to another CJ the Champ reaction video. Today we're reacting to Afro Samurai. Afro, the coldest samurai. I have not seen Afro Sa Samurai. I know, judge me all you want. I'm sorry, I just haven't. I haven't seen Samurai Shampoo either. I want to watch those two. So bear with me. I know some stuff. I know Afro Samurai. You got Fro, he black, he cold af. That's all I know. And um, there's a bear. Yeah, there's a bear. Yeah, there's a bear guy. Damn. Damn. So bro pulls out his mixtape. Nigga said, I'm about uh -huh. to go play Astro, them with what? This. And they end up getting jumped by the damn Foot Clan. The f There's a Foot Clan in this? Copyright. I'm kidding. I want to hear uh, a Pip Name slick back uh, make an appearance in this. No, it's a it's a pit name. You gotta Blue say the whole thing. Activity. A series that we yeah, Afro will be in this. It makes sense. I've seen clips of Afro. Oh, Invincible uh, season two is coming out. I'm excited for that. Just go ahead and tell you. Today we is going over one of the coldest mm. niggas to ever grace a manga panel in animation itself. Of course you would. The niggas Riz is unspoken. But ladies and gentlemen, oh he got Riz. I did not know that. This nigga Afro. I mean, come on, y'all. This man was so cold. They had to yeah. get Samuel Jackson to voice this. I mean, Sa what more evidence? Do Samuel you voices need Afro is the dub. I, okay, no, we got the automatic rank up. So okay, now it's in like in the top five to watch. <clears throat> oh, that was that was Biggie. Biggie. I love Biggie. Yeah, Hello, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Now to understand how this man became the coldest nigga to ever. All I know is something that has to do with the headband. There's a number one headband and there's a number two headband. Afro is a Little ugly ass Jin, I ain't even gonna lie to you. You can I tell agree. me that bro is not built like the black ass NPCs from Sonic Unleashed. Damn. Nigga this nigga is a Funko Pop. And he <laughs> ain't got a forehead too. Cold as a mug. So Afro's dad has the number one headband. Mm -hmm. And you see the number one headband. Yeah, right there. Basically means right here, this means number one. This man to walk Ichi. You is him. But yeah. There comes some baggage with it. Number because two, only challenge number one. Wants the goddamn headband. But That's all I remember. The number two headband to challenge the number, the number one. one. So Afro's That's all I remember. Is about to face off against the number two headband. Mm -hmm. Now you see the hold of Ooh. the number two headband is this man named Justice. And his but two lines, each. I mean, me. This is literally Freddy Krueger. I see it. I see it. Bro decided to make a guest appearance. So this man Freddy wasted no time. Yes, guns. Out the two revolvers and started blasting. But that man, uh, I should have seen it coming. This man on the earth for a reason. Ooh. He started blitzing, bro. Had this man on his heels, tiptoeing back to Elm Street. So after <laughs> right where he wants him, he goes in for the kill. I need this. But unfortunately, Freddy has two, 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 two. He decapitates this nigga right in front of his son. Mm. How? Fatality. He had a gun. And then this man picks up his head, takes off the number one headband, and throws it at this little nigga. He said, "Here's your nappy headed ass daddy head, boy." So then he walks up to Afro, this traumatized kid. That and the thing is, like, we know his dad is cold. Said, it just shows that this guy is even colder. You had to see that little nigga. Ah, but it's all good though. Cause guess what? Uh, uh, ugly a chin, bro. You could cut stuff with that chin. Sharp ass. <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's pretty funny. Okay, that, that was that was good. That was good. Freddy Krueger put his dad in a pack and smoked it right in front of his face. His quest for revenge began. Now yeah. I ain't gonna lie, the man went through some tough times. Bro got jumped by I some bandits while they was playing with his I said, I get, I, I, I understand. Said, Whoa, that's crazy. Leaves him for dead. But he ends up getting found by Gino and Otsuru. And he mm. ends up getting raised in a sword fighting orphanage. And like Zoro? And sword fighting under his master. Bro, his forehead. Very important later on. So one day, I remember the master. I think the master becomes number two. He ends up overhearing these dudes talking about, hey, so is number two really back in town? Yeah, man. Apparently, okay, he's never mind. smoking all the ops. So this Ooh. man Afro overheard this. And he decided, hmm. I got to look at this. So later oh, okay, on, never mind. Up on, bro. Beating some cheeks in the room. Hey, yeah. It runs up on him like, what number two, nigga? And bro's like, hey, bro, chill. You see me busy up in here, don't you? He yeah, was yeah, clapping. Okay, okay, I gotta watch this now. Two, nigga. So bro tried to pull out the strap, but Afro slits his throat, makes his shorty pass out, and mm. just straight up murders, bro. 
Bro, cock blocked the dude and killed him. But the dude wasn't dead yet and basically gave him the Thanos speech. You should have gone for the head and marks himself. What? So later on, bro's crew ends up pulling up on Afro and all the kids because they trying to mm. slide back for they nigga. So they pull up on they're Afro and straight up surround them. They are really about to jump a little kid. They yeah. Say we slide Have you seen One Piece? On they don't care. Anime, Afro said, they don't care. Bet. So he started drinking his Water breathing. Who to eliminate that bro and used it as a distraction to take his sword and decapitate bro. Spat his hot ass breath Ooh. in this dude's eyes. Cut off dude's arm. Damn. Slices this grown ass man in half, but then Gollum comes behind him and grabs him and starts saying, My precious. Mm. Well, oh, why does he look like that dude from King of Fighters? Betrayal. But then this other the small dude right here ends up whacking him. This Pirates of the Caribbean reject looking motherfucker. Then bro starts stepping on him and saying, yeah, Damn, you know how to do that. But I mean, to be fair, actually, never mind. Throwing a spear at him and cutting off his ear, this nigga's Mike Tyson. Because <laughs> <laughs> Mike Tyson bit someone's ear off. Neck. But then Afro started saying, where's number two? I'm going to kill that nigga. But then bro told him the number two is dead and somebody done already killed him. So this mm. is where we're going to end our first flashback sequence because this is just the first one. Everything will make sense later. So now how many episodes the Afro Samurai have? I feel like it's six. Afro is the holder of the number two headband. Yeah, he's about to get jumped. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. Well, cold well, well, out. Looks like this is the end of the road for you. Bro, samurai. Now, mm. me and my boys oh, he has a glass eye. We got, we got Raiden, we got Cabal. But this man Afro was not. He don't fans. care. Bro spat out the Zaza hit that pose. So they yeah. all start looking at this man like some hungry ass hyenas. So bro shoots this musket, but Afro cuts the bullet in half. And it ends up spreading and killing Oh, uh, that's him. cold. That's cold. And look at all these ugly bastards just running to their death. This was a yeah. massacre. Not even a fight. I don't even think bro broke mm. sweat. Look at this oh, wait, guy. never mind. I thought he kicked them off. The and this was just disgusting. And absolutely. Damn. Bad. Bro, send all these NPCs back to the fire logs. Ooh, so bro, that was over. The that was like the blunt like, part of the sword. Wow. That wasn't the sharp edge. Bro, you trying to the jump him? response was, bro, just casually smoke that back. He had a blood loss. Bum ass nigga. Mm -hmm. Then after <laughs> that, he went to his imaginary friend Ninja Ninja, and bro said, hey, "Imaginary pass friend." Shit, yoga. And look at his monstrous inhale. Bro said, why? Why does that look like stink meaner? Damn. So after that massacre, oh, man, bro starts spreading out that afros back in town. Everybody Ooh. in this bar is shook. They like, boy, ain't no way in hell that nigga real. And I know everybody in this bar mm. gotta be high as fuck. It is smoky as shit. Yeah. Bro, it smells like straight black and miles, gas in a damn ass. Not bro, black and miles. In here and all these sketchy ass That's crazy. Are shook. So he walk up to the Fine ass bartender, I ain't yeah. Know. So she like, hey, how you yeah. doing, baby? What She'll you doing today? Hey, I hit Patron, Crown, Bacardi. I can make a mean ass mojito, nigga. So you think Afro would get a mean ass drink? Like nah, just straight hit water it straight out the bottle. You know what, bro? I said lemonade. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say some Biddy's milk. What? Oh, wrong. <laughs> well, everybody like, hey, what the fuck, old soft ass nigga? Look at this big black nigga looking. Nah, like I understand him, bro. Yo, so like, glass of lemonade. He's like, like I'm the type of person that will ask for strawberry milk. Drink, huh? But Afro lifted up because it just smacked, bro. Was like another one on his tab. So then big boy tried to nah, on him, his tab. Afro that's crazy. Hands, bro, mm. the, the no look, look backhand fire. Riz. She was like, God damn. So Afro pulled that was up this hot crazy ass. ass looking straw. And she's like, damn, you cold as hell. Mm. And bro took a mean ass sip and said, damn, bro, he gulped that. And after that, it was wrapped. The bartender was ready to give up the boom boom. Yeah. Afro the left box. The bar, some dude from oh, the okay, never mind. Him. I thought I was going to say something like, after he hit that. And just started shooting. Bro, came ready to hit a bro so what is this? Blocking all the arrows, bro got desperate, so he crossbow. The what? Said, I'll okay. get that this is a high. Red weapon. They evolving in this. Yeah. Bro stabbed him in the head. Bro said, night night, motherfucker. But after he watched this idiot, his stuff got crazy. Someone else is there. Big ass nigga comes from the top of the cliff. Pulls out a fing RPG. Damn. 
Afro got blown off a cliff. That brother is slumped. So after Afro For now. is blown off a cliff, For now. he ends up getting found yeah. and taken care of by this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Guess when you just the number two coldest nigga in the world. You just get uh -huh. bitches, don't you? Yes, but sir. I was so bad. She even had this man Afro mesmerized. He ended up seeing her butt booty naked. Yeah. She looked at him like, hey. Yeah. And just looked at her and said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shawty was two timing him the whole time. She yeah. was working with the goddamn Peanut Head Collective, the ones that shot Afro off the cliff. So she asked him to stay. She like, hey, um, so can you uh, I, I had a feeling. Works with me. So they went outside. Started it's always the convenient, like, hmm. And she just got freaky as shit. She it's convenient that man's that Shawty kissing him. So yeah. <laughs> Afro was like, oh, I'm busting the shit out of these chicks. And yeah, uh, you know what happened next. Turn on the R&B music, nigga. It's so sick. Yeah, let's go. As you can see, I'm just clapping. I agree. Congratulate the young nigga for getting some ass. Yeah, I agree. I'm clapping so after with. Afro dropped off the BBC Glizzy destruction. Yeah, I I agree. He would. I can't do this no more. She ends up betraying the league Ooh, of peanut heads. Bro, so she was like, nah. I that BBC was, was too, too good, good for her. But for actually, real. Actually, the reason was this is actually his childhood friend Otsuru the whole time. The That's one that crazy. Him when he was left for dead, and she said she wanted to watch the fireworks with him before she died. So while mm. they having this sentimental last conversation, they end up getting okay. ran up on by the ops. So Afro's telling his shawty, you need to get the stepping button yeah in the peanut head on top like stupid bitch letting the bbc hypnotize you and shit mm. and then they just straight up burnt the house down bro and this man afro was all right Pete. but this done made the man even more revenge stronger bro was like first yeah my dad, now, now my, my baby nah, yeah nigga, that his baby mama and then this man ninja, mm -hmm. ninja come out the two things the hey, three bro, things you don't do to a man the dad the, the mom the baby mama head, boy. So Afro goes up and runs up and on they have the a sibling. That's plan, number four. Or basically what I've been calling them the whole time, the League of Peanut Heads or the Peanut Head Collective. I mean, they basically the League <laughs> Little of Shadows Bill. with Peanut Heads. But anyways, they ended up making a robot clone of this man. What? His blood is facing his doppelganger. Bro, doing the what same thing. What is this, Yasuke? So okay. Afro started getting into it with the Afro bot. Okay, but I could Afro I could totally tell that this fight and then the peanut heads will go hard. Like, yes, my was hard. Brothers. Witness that nappy headed ass nigga get his ass whooped. But that man Afro had to lock in. So that man had to unlock the Ooh, ultra, ultra instant. instinct. But we ain't know what the hell to call this back in 2007. So he unlocked the power of Bob and Weed. And look Bob at this and Weed. I was going to say observation hockey, but this right probably, down the middle, mate. This probably came out before the observation AI. hockey stuff. So later on, while he's basically raiding their palace, he ends up running up on this one peanut head. Mm. And bro is just sitting there with some damn bro. headphones on his head. I don't know what bro is. Yeah, this is not the best to get, bro. This so saying. stupid, it's like, yeah. She took on my dick. What? I put her back. Lady, daddy. The floor. Da. The dad BBC. What? Then bro just starts pouring some tea, tea. and just starts bowing down, saying, mm. "Please just let me listen to my cardio leaks in peace." So after bro, Afro has him, he ends up running up on the big ass dude that shot him off the cliff. But Afro made sure hey, back. this bozo. Bro came from the roof and said, "Oh." But then dude spawned more peanut heads from his backpack. This nigga is Cell, bro. Just put yeah, the Cell, cell Junior. So they straight up surround him. So this one run at him. But Afro shoves the sheet of the sword in his chest. And he just throws him at the other dude. And bro, he got like, gut checked oh, by a sword. Not even the sword itself. The sword and just makes the peanut kebab. Bro. So about five minutes later, he walks into this next room and Blue Say, right here oh my thing. A splinter cell. Bro thinks he's camouflaged in the bodies with his night vision, but this man probably had the most brutal death in this entire show. So he trying to sneak him, but then he looking in the thing. He like, wait, he gone. Where he go? Hope is that's crazy. Shoves the thing in his eye sockets. Oh my goodness! But now nah, that's crazy. More crazy. This damn Afrobot came back. So then they start having the fight of the century. With no skin. Just a skeleton. Come and then they just start fighting while in the air. The clouds. Okay, that's that cold. Man, Afro got a good stab on him, and the robot was like, "Oh shit, uh, danger, danger." Uh, 
out there. Yeah, right. And Afro just slams the ball back into the uh, palace. Uh, uh, uh. And then the sword comes down right into its head, and the robot ends up blowing up. Pause, but, but literally, nigga said, that foul go. <laughs> Hey, so after it's always good to bust. The entire league of peanut Wise butter, words by Flame. Spun back for a shawty, he ends up running up on a man Ooh, with a the teddy bear. Teddy bear on yeah. his head. Yeah. And he's like, this is like the only uh, the last thing I know about. About Sam for Sam after Sam as the teddy bear. Sounding like Darth Vader. This man yeah, because this guy's old ass. That role is Mace Windu because this entire fight. Was I remember this is an old guy who was like using a Afro does like barely alive his sword and he just starts running away and then he started getting cooked a little bit. Damn. So teddy bear Darth Vader's like. Oh, dare you okay, this guy is two two sword Nina. style. Nina. You're already one with the dog. Nee. San Yoda. No, it's not San Yoda. Why are you ignorant in the swamp? Hey, I'm don't talk to old man thing like that. He jumps up and just slams him through this entire building. So then he ends up taking off the teddy bear. Mask. Damn. And this is his other childhood friend, Gino. So now we end up moving to our second what? flashback. What? Childhood friend? This man, Afro, actually got the number two headband. So do you remember his Okay, now we know. took him in and raised him and trained him in sword fighting? Yes. Body? Yeah. Uh, he was number two? He had the number two headband yeah. the whole time. But this man, Afro, said, I do not care if you are my master. Mm -hmm. I need that musty-ass headband, nigga. And he's like, do you dare fight me, boy? I raised you. I was the yep. father that I think I said up. this earlier. But all these bandits mm -hmm. end up running up on them and all these students. Because everybody wants that number two headband. But it was a literal bloodbath. All of Afro's <laughs> friends just started dying. Mm -hmm. Gino got his back blown out. Damn! And after this, his master turns around and he's like, Afro, do you want this fade? And of course, Afro was his like, whole yeah. friend. That's so crazy. Afro just straight him off his master. Bro yeah. Said, you are not, not my dad. dad. So that man Gino got up and he was like, Afro, what have you done? You're my brother, Afro. I mean, even though you're already on the dark side, you was mm. about to destroy the Sith, not join them. My bad, cuz. And that man Gino fell off a cliff. What? What? After that what? day, Ninja Ninja was born to help Afro cope. And Gino was found by the League of Peanut yeah. Heads and turned oh, into Darth Teddy Bear. So okay, never mind. I thought that Ninja was. Ninja from his conscience because I thought this was person like, in the bear head. was the Afro not the teacher. And they started really, really scrapping. But okay, so Gino got got, got strong. And hits this man with a critical hit. That's fire. That man really hit him with the. Even though you was my brother, you could still get cooked. Mm. Smoke that pack. Rest Smoke that piss, pack. Bozo. So finally, after all the long years in the rampage this man has gone on, Afro is now about to slide for his pops. This man, number just one, a Freddy Krueger, just sitting here looking malnourished as fuck. Damn, Damn bro, he got no waste. Start saying about damn time, little nigga, and all <laughs> is getting bored. But it looks like your black ass has finally came to spin for your pappy. Mm. So Freddy jump up and shoot him. And Ooh. Him, get ready to join your daddy, nigga. So this man just started blasting, bro. This I like how the show's called Samurai, man. but they're guns. Once. It's just but fun. Man, Afro got in close and cut off his arms. But this man, Freddy, said, You've fallen into my trap, dumbass. Blah, 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 blah. revealed how this man killed Afro's dad. Bro has a third arm in his back. But Afro counters it and slits Again, okay, never skirt, mind. And that nigga's head is hanging on for dear life. But obviously, uh, it's not that easy to kill Freddy. Bro Do they ever explain? Head and what? Brings this nigga to heaven. So bro thinks he stabbed him through the head. But bro's aim is gone. Nah, the bro. The Afro. So Afro comes down and shish kebabs this nigga. Ooh. Damn. Wait, but why does he have a and third arm though? Afro Did finally ever explain that? The coldest nigga in the land. Facts. Exactly. For now. What do you mean for now? Alrighty, ladies Samurai ladies. shampoo? As you could tell, that was I'm a just kidding. Ass exhibit A. To be honest with you, that's the only shit bro needed. Mm -hmm, true. Exhibit B stands for bonus. 
Yes. Okay. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a little bonex exhibit from your What's story? What's the so stands the for? Story happens. There's a movie after this where some bad ah, bitch comes and tries to okay. fuck up this whole oh. nigga's life, and she is also another one of Afro's childhood, childhood friends. friends. Why is all of his childhood friends trying to kill him? So she is taking the number one head. Yeah. Resurrecting this man's dad, but. What we are gonna be focusing on is actually none of that. There is a certain well, fight in this was movie the first... that will dead ass make you question your morals, and you well, will realize even though this man Afro was the protagonist, he, he this hit man that. No damn hero. So okay, since Afro never lost the number one headband, Afro had to go and search for the, the number, number two, two again. again. So later on, while he's on his journey, he runs into some motherfucker looking like he just got off the set of Pocahontas. Okay, but like the first, kid. but obviously, bro started the first childhood friend, the one that he oh, clapped. Shit, nigga, that's well, you can say so that she was trying to kill him because shorty. she was working with the group that was going after him. Seconds. But she betrayed the group, so I don't know. So yeah, yeah, he got you. Comes, and he's like, hey, bro, I appreciate you saving my kid and everything, dude. How do I repay you? Are you here for Rolling Loud, bro? What? Bro. You got to be. Come on, bro. Rolling Let's loud. Some drinks before the concert, and this man was not lying. While Afro was getting drinks with this man, these motherfuckers dead ass. Yeah. At the music festival. That's Look crazy. Right here, bro, like, yo, 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 bro yo, 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 how are you a DJ during, during the samurai era? era? Noodle barnacle. Censored. What were they doing? Hey, hit that, yeah, hey, yeah, hit that, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hey, hey, I know her get her out. So while everybody's outside right now and join Rolling Loud with DJ Noodle Barnacle, Afro's mm -hmm. in here with the mystery man. So bro's like, cheers, bro. Watch me shotgun this shit. Yeah? He throws so it up. Continue no, I'm talk. kidding. The man says, you know, dude, he's not even my real kid, man. Yeah. You see his father died. To a nigga with an afro. Ah, that's so my yeah, pops. Uh, this is a number two headband holder, Shichiguro. Okay. See, here's the thing. I had a feeling. Bro actually has good intentions, cause he wants to hide the number two headband to stop the bloodshed. But this man Afro did not care at all. Yeah. Bro will stop at nothing to get that musty ass. He did it once. So they go he did it twice. And they about to duel. So Shichi girl's like, you know, bro. I really thought. Okay, I like it that he doesn't wear like a headband. Your I like that. Blinds you, bro. Not cool. So they start to scrap, and it looks like these dudes are just dead even. So Afro mm. tries to land a strike, but bro stops it with chains on his forearm, and he just got this big ass chain hanging. Bro got all this ice. This chain is hang low. All bro missing is a shovel. So he just started chain hang low. Already did it. So Afro said, "The hell with this. Let's have a change of scenery." So they run out to the festival and start fighting in front of everybody. Okay, they that's kind of cool. In the damn flow. So why they oh, that's cool. The bear out here watching from a distance. So the bear is here again. Barnacle and tells him, "Play my shit, baby." What? So bro pulls out his mixtape. Nigga said, "I'm about to go play." Destroy Aphosaurus. They end up getting jumped by the damn Foot Clan. I guess hey. this man Shredder said, y'all better be ready for trial. So this man Afro had to deal with these middle of the boss fight NPCs. So after these two literally murdered the entire Foot Clan, Chichi Girl's like, let's go ahead and finish this off, brah. Mano way bro. So they started scrapping again, and they are still dead even. But this man Afro pulled out one of the dirtiest tricks I have ever seen. He DJ went after the kid? Drops okay, never mind. Float. Afro grabs him and pushes him to Shichiguro, uses him as a body shield, and stabs Shichiguro through the DJ, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way this nigga just used DJ Noodle Barnacle as a body shield. And that man ended up twice. killing Shichiguro Got and taking Kill that twice. number two headband Stat back twice. right in, in front, front of the kid of his son. This man Afro has basically killed both of this little kid's father figures. And before he left, he had mm. to say a prayer for that pack. God is good. God is great. <laughs> God is thinking for this pack. <laughs> it's always that God is good. And leaves this little ugly ass boy with this terrible ass haircut. For real. To grieve over his dead father. Bro, just After go bald. Died, you want to know what Afro did? He smoked, he smoked that pack. But no. It actually gets crazier from here. So uh, after this man basically killed his Frankenstein ass father and got the number one headband back. The nice. little boy ended up following him. And Afro mean mugs little bro and mm, hands him the number, number two, two headband and tells him come Survive. get it back in blood. He did this kid the exact same way 
justice did him all those years ago mm. and the cycle of revenge continues no 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 bro this nigga's a demon well uh that's a dark way to end off a video well, okay never mind can't possibly get worse than so this. what was the it point of the chick then a few minutes later End, go to her face off her after the hit. Yeah, he oh, dies. I'm fucking puke. I'm fucking sick. Well, hold up. This is wait the, in the manga. Okay, okay. I was like, the they ever animated that? Nah, they never did. Oh, I'm a fucking puke. I'm fucking sick. That's crazy. But what was the point of the chick? The chick just revived the his the Franken dad, but that's it. He didn't clap. Does have the waist then if you didn't clap. But anyways, obviously the the link to the original video down in the description below. Obviously, go watch yourself, go like yourself, support CJ the champ, and support me by liking and subscribing to me. See y'all the next reaction. Bye bye.